Next, what I will do is uh, we will uh, try the third exercise, the truncate, uh, and then load the data from Excel file uh, to the SQL Server table. What does this mean? The before you loading the data, for example, if I run this, if I uh, you know rerun this again, what will happen? Already twenty seven records are there here, and we will just and if I run it once again, what will happen? For example, you will just uh, right click on this package. And when you execute this package again, what will happen? The all the twenty seven rows from this Excel file, especially the expenses sheet data, will get uh, loaded once again into this table, which means twenty seven plus twenty seven fifty four records will get loaded here. And look here and now. I mean SQL Server. Look here. Fifty as I said, fifty four records got loaded. We don't want uh, the same data to be loaded. Um, you know, more than once, or before you load the data into the target expenses table, expenses target table, you truncate this data, remove the data from this table, and then load the data from the Excel file. For example, every day you get new Excel file. Every day when you run this job, the new data, the current days data should get loaded from your Excel file into this table. We don't want to to uh, you know have this target table uh, or the yesterday's data as well as today's data. Every day when you run this job, it should make sure that it delete the data from your expenses target table, and then only it should load the data. Okay. So now, how do we do that? So what I do is I'll just go to the control flow here. In this case, uh, what I am going to do is. I just move this app and we have something called execute SQL task. Execute SQL task. So what is this one? What is this execute SQL task is all about? Okay, I did not uh, discuss about this. Don't worry, I'll explain you now. I just dropped this execute SQL uh, task here. So what is this task is all about? It allows as to it allows us the execution of the SQL code against your relation RDBMS table. Okay, that is what your as the name suggests SQL task. You can uh, execute SQL uh, script against your database. In this case, what I did, uh, I just um, put it here. Okay, and what I do is usually we need to we will be having the first task as the data flow task. But in this case, now what I did, I just uh, dragged and dropped the SQL task. And uh, the next step is what we are going to do is look here. These are the steps that we get. So first we get a, a new package and drag and drop the SQL, execute SQL task to the design area. And now what I do is I just double click on it and then it will open up something like this. And the properties, we can see that parameter mapping and result set and expressions. Here, what I do is I just uh, select the general one. Here, uh, I just simply go and say the connection here is going to be my SQL database, SQL or SQL database. The source type is direct input. Okay, we, have di we are directly pulling the data from the sales database. And then what we are doing is the, the SQL statement. So what you want to do it here, I just want to use the delete Prem, what is my table name? The table name expenses target. I just copy this and I paste it here. And make sure that you are putting it in a double quote. That's it, guys. You just click on OK. Most of them, they don't use the double quote. OK, so the table name should be enclosed with double quote. Otherwise, it will throw an error and hit OK. Now we are done with this. So next one is the parameter mapping result set. Uh, here we don't need to do anything here. That's it. I'm going to hit OK now. My executable SQL task is ready now. I'm going to connect this with this one now. So what we are doing is before uh, we start, load the data from the Excel to the, the target Table. What is the target table? In our case, this is the expenses target. That is the one we defined it here. Do you remember it? 
look here expenses start this is the one we have configured it here so what we are saying is hey, use the expenses.xls file and load all the data into this table but before loading it what you do is you truncate the data or delete the data from that table and then you you load the data as i said the, the control flow this is the uh, beginning starting point this is where we start everything right so the here as part of control flow uh, there are two things a uh, data flow task and uh, execute uh, sql task in this case what we wanted to do is we want first to delete all the records from my expenses target table i want to make this table empty and then only i want to load the data from excel into this table we are done now this output goes here which means my empty table goes here and then from here if you click on it it will take you to the data flow here the now what happens the excel source will begin this one begin the load uh, process and then load it into your target table so now i'm going to hit the start button now let us see what happens previously when i executed without this execute uh, sql task when i uh, click down start more than one time the data was getting duplicated the same data 27 rows were there uh, again when i ran it 50, again the same 27 records got loaded here we don't want that to we don't want that behavior instead before every every time when you execute this this table should get uh, removed you know get cleaned up first and then only load the data so now what I do is to test this, click on the start button here. You can see that it is succeeded. It was succeeded. And now let us go and check how many number of records. It should have only 27 records. It should not get appended with the 54 records. Okay. And I'm going to click on execute. Look here. Beautiful. It first delete the data before loading the data into this table. It makes sure that it, it cleans this table. In the sense, delete all the 27 records and then load the data. I will just test it again. I just go back here and then I... So you need to click on this to get into the design mode. And then what I do is I just... This is my package name. Package one. Keep the cursor over there. Right click on it. Execute package. This time, what happens? The same thing. It succeeded. And let's scroll down and see. Still, it is loading. Let me just. Okay. We will quickly go and check. This time, can you see 54 records or 27 rows? Beautiful. 27. So, even if you run this task more than one time, it makes sure that before loading the data into this table, it delete the records first and then it loads the data. The staging area, I was explaining the staging area earlier. What they do is they don't keep the past record. Before they load the data into a data warehouse, look here. Uh, let's say this is your expenses target is your staging table okay every day the data you extract it and loading into this table and but every day you load the before you load the data into this table you delete the records or clean up this table and then only load the data got it so even in this case it is a one-to-one -one load only once again it is Back to this uh, control flow design package here. Uh, this is the one we have been working on it. Uh, the package one dot ddx. And if you see here, first we are cleaning up the table, and then what we are doing is we are loading the data from the Excel file into the target table. Okay. Next to what, uh, okay, to summarize what we did here in this case, what we did. We created a new package 
and then we just dragged and drop the execute SQL task. Look here, the execute SQL task. And then what we did, we drag and drop the data flow task uh, to the design area and we connected the SQL task to the data flow task. So we connected this one with this data flow task. Previously, I started with data flow task only. Now we, we, we started with the execute SQL task. Here we have used the command, the SQL command, a delete from expenses target. You know, we, de we deleted the data and the empty table is kind of an input to your, this task, okay? And then what we did here, we just loaded the data here. The third step is double click on the data flow task and connect and edit it. So that is what uh, we did it here. So when you double click on it, so it will take you to your data flow. And then, uh, you know, in the data flow task, right, we connected and uh, we have used the source um, Excel and the target as this one. And how did we tested it? Check if the target table does have any empty records initially. We had some data in it. When we ran the package and when we checked it, the data remains the same. Okay. Uh, when we ran reran the package again, we don't we did not see the data got duplicated here. The previous data got deleted, and then the new data got loaded from the Excel file. For every run, it truncates the target table, and then it loads the data from my Excel into this expenses target table. Hope you understood how to do truncate and load. How to truncate the data target table uh, data first, and then how to load the data with this demo you are able to understand.